Hi all, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. For course inquiries, visit our website www.gatelectures.com and don't forget to register and subscribe to the latest post section. So welcome to the new subject which is design and analysis of algorithms. As you can see the name of the subject is design and analysis. So it is design and analysis. So here of algorithms. As you can see here uh, when we use design, design means we are going to create some algorithms, we are going to design them and analysis means we, if we have multiple algorithms to solve the same kind of problem, that problem can be anything, it can be like sorting some numbers, it can be searching on some data, it can be uh, some dynamic programming problem, it can be some greedy programming problem or any kind of problem whatsoever. So when I'm saying analysis, analysis means we are going to analyze some algorithms on the basis of some kind of criteria which says that out of those algorithms, if we have more than one algorithm, out of those algorithms, which one is the best algorithm? And that is called as analysis of algorithms. So here, instead of designing the algorithm, initially we are going to see what are the basic principles behind the analysis of algorithms. That is, what are the principles that are used to analyze some algorithms and what are the uh, you know, uh, criteria on which we do this particular kind of analysis. And when I'm saying analysis, that means given two algorithms or given some set of algorithms, can you tell which of those algorithm is better as compared to the other one? Because to solve a particular kind of problem, we can have more than one ways of solving it. Just for an example, if you want to find the factorial of a number. Now, let us so suppose we want to find factorial of a number. And now there are two ways of finding out the factorial of a number. Number one, you can write a non-recursive program. And second one, you can also write a recursive program. For example, if I'm saying non-recursive program, I could have written integer fact with integer n as input and then I'm saying integer i comma fact is equal to 1 for i is equal to n i greater than 1 and i minus minus I'm going to do fact is equal to fact multiplied by i and then I can just return the value of fact so it is a return fact now as you can see it is a very very simple program and uh, which is uh, just finding the factorial of a number so the function name is facto because it was colliding with the name of the variable so just so that I can remove the confusion I created facto as a function name now it is a very simple non recursive program and uh, you can see it is you know it is very very easy to make this kind of programs and the second kind of program that you can write to solve the same kind of problem is a recursive function. What is a recursive function? Uh, that depends on the mathematical definition of this factorial of a number. For example, what is the mathematical definition? If I want to find the factorial of a number n, then mathematically it can say it is 1 if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1. But it is n into factorial of n minus 1 otherwise right and we cannot find the factor of a negative numbers so there is what the basic assumption is that we are not going to pass negative numbers to these uh, variables or uh, to these functions okay now I could have written a program like this factorial of integer n it is if n is less than or equal to 1 then I'm going to return 1 else return n into factorial of n minus 1 now as you can see it is just two line program and it is a recursive program here now given these two programs as you uh, can you tell me which of the following program is better right 
you may say sir we can count the number of lines so here the number of lines are 1 2 3 and 4 but here the number of lines are only 2 so you may give some different kind of measurements to find out which of the following program is better which and both the programs are actually solving the same problem it is not solving a different problem it is solving the same kind of problem now think about it pause the video think about it if we have these two programs which are solving the same problem exact same problem exact same mathematical mathematical definition of the problem but the approach is different now out of these two programs which program will be better and if you want to say that the first program is better or the second program is better then you should come up with a valid reason why this program is better okay think about it in meanwhile let me also write the second program set one more example for example the next program is about finding the Fibonacci series that is Fibonacci of a number how do you find the Fibonacci of a number so uh, it the mathematical definition something like this if this is the number n and this is Fibonacci of n Fibonacci of 0 is 0 that is already defined Fibonacci of 1 is 1 it is also defined but the Fibonacci of the next numbers is the sum of last two Fibonacci's for example Fibonacci of 2 is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 Fibonacci of 3 is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 Fibonacci of 4 is 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 Fibonacci of 5 is 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 Fibonacci of 6 is 8 and Fibonacci of 7 is 13 this is how we find the Fibonacci of a number now I could also have written a simple program and there are again two types of program possible to find the Fibonacci of a number either you can write a non recursive program or you can write a recursive program so let me first of all introduce you to a non recursive program I am going to write integer Fibo as a function name which is taking integer n as input that is the number for which you want to find the Fibonacci and then I am going to take some variables here so integer current previous and next these are three variables and here I am doing previous is equal to 0 and current is equal to 1 and then for integer i is equal to 2 i less than or equal to n i plus plus next is equal to current plus previous and then previous is equal to current and then we can do current is equal to next is equal to next okay so assuming that we want to find Fibonacci of a number which is greater than or equal to 2 and then I can just return uh, Fibonacci of that number which is equal to the next okay so this is the Fibonacci of a number now this is a clearly non recursive program there is no recursion which is involved in this program but we can also write a recursive program by seeing the mathematical definition of Fibonacci of a number and what is the mathematical definition Fibonacci of a number n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 it is 0 if n is equal to 0 or it is Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2 otherwise okay so here I could have put uh, use the conditions saying that if uh, n is equal to 0 then return 0 if n is equal to 1 then return 1 but just for simplicity I reduced those parts here I could have done it but uh, you can you can add it here okay so that is uh, that that is what you can do fine now I can also write a recursive function here which is saying Fibonacci of integer n if n is equal to 0 then return 0 if n is equal to 1 then return 1 else return Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2 otherwise right 
So this is also a three line recursive program, a recursive function to find the Fibonacci number. So if, if I could have added more conditions into this non-recursive function, obviously the number of lines, lines will also increase. Right? And now given these programs where one program is presenting a non-recursive version, right? So here also it is representing a non-recursive version. And here this program is representing recursive version and it is also representing the recursive version to solve the same problem. Now as you can see these are very simple sim simple programs. There is nothing can be easier or uh, more easy to understand as compared to these examples. As you can see in these programs we are solving the same problems like in the factorial program we are just finding the factorial of a number. In the Fibonacci program we are just finding the Fibonacci of a number. Now, to solve the same problem, there are two methodologies that, that does exist. Out of these two methodologies, can you tell me, can you find out which of the methodology is better as compared to the other methodology? And that is what is called as analysis of algorithms. That is, to solve a particular problem, there are more than one ways to solve it. There are more than one approaches exist to solve it. but all those approaches in all those algorithms what is the best approach that is called as analysis of algorithms now I'm going to end this video here think about it or try to reason yourself that between this recursive and non-recursive function which function is better now in the next video I'm going to explain certain criteria according to this which on the basis of those criteria you can find out which of the function is better as compared to the other function okay so let us move on to the next video